Hello everyone, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today's little video is in memory and in awe of a architect named Antonio Gaudi. And Antonio Gaudi lived from 1852 to 1926 and he did the most amazing works of architecture. So there is a church in Barcelona, Spain and I visited and it's called the La Sagrada Familia and the shapes are amazing and they look like shapes that you could only do with this amazing supercomputer and CAD. They look so fantastic and they're so smooth and humaniform, so modern looking, yet you know he died in 1926 and so I think his work is fantastic. He uh, did other structures of course uh, here is um, some sketches of a uh, building that he was going to do in New York and here's some archways uh, that were done and um, here is a uh, another building and um, <clears throat> the amazing thing is if you look at some of these structures and you try to analyze them with splines and, and conics and so on and so forth you'll see that NX has some things to offer and some ways to kind of understand his work. So for example, if you're if you have a sketch and uh, not too many people um, know this, but uh, you have the ability to create conics in sketches and if you um, do a three-point conic you'll see that you have the ability to do a conic and um, the thing that you should know about conics is it has a RHO number and the higher the number, let's say 0.8, the sharper and pointier the conic is. Okay, so high number, sharp and pointy, like for example 0.95, you get something that's almost triangular from a conic, uh, and, um, but if you put it at uh, 0.2, then you get something that's more round and bulbous, and um, you'll really want to understand that and know that if you're going to use them to do design. So now uh, let's look at some of the ways that conics and splines were used, uh, well, or could have been used um, in some of Gaudi's works. So here we have some archways that were part of his designs. And as you can see, um, what we've uh, tried to do is uh, use a conic to emulate the uh, curvature that uh, he had created. And so as you can see, there's this uh, this uh, oh this is a spline this is a spline um, and what we've done with the spline is uh, we've selected three points and we've um, tried to control the uh, curvature um, of the continuity and as you can see we're you know we're not totally matching his shape but we're we're getting close uh, with this uh, with these splines and um, as we continue if I go to uh, layer settings I'm going to go to layer uh, 10. Oh yes. And here is the shape of that church that he was going to do in New York. And you can see that um, conics were really uh, darn close using the conics. And uh, I was able to get one that did that. I was able to get one that really closely matched the shapes on his sketches. So he naturally, I'm sure he sketch these out freehand, but naturally he had a feel for the math and science, um, an internal feel that would give you uh, these uh, conic shapes. And so to me that's um, intensely interesting. Here is um, one of the archways that I had shown. And as you can see, this piece of geometry is really close to what happens when you create a spline through three points, one, two and three and then just set the uh, end conditions to um, your uh, G2 curvature continuity here so if you, you see it's uh, G2 and so you know he Gaudi probably sketched these by hand or maybe he mathematically laid them out but you know there you go if you want to do Gaudian style work you've got to know your conics and you've got to know your your splines Okay, moving right along, um, here's some geometry that was very hard uh, to match with uh, 
conics and splines. I'm still kind of working on this shape. Haven't done that yet. But um, in uh, Barcelona, there's, um, there's a few mu museums. Uh, one of the museums in one of his apartment buildings that he had designed, they have um, this display um, on how he derived some of his uh, some of his shapes. And so what he's done is so amazing. He um, has this board and he's hung these chains from the board and the way the chains um, the way the chains hang loosely, they form a shape that is really the basis of a lot of his work. So you put a conic in there and you put and you get the right RHO value and it just fits beautifully. And so you know that becomes a really important uh, way to understand his work. So then based on that, I thought I'd have a little fun. Um, let's, uh, okay, no, it's okay. Um, I thought I'd have a little fun and I uh, created this uh, conic, this sketch here. Let's get a little plan view of it. There you go. And so um, I took the conic. Um, I wanted it to be um, of a certain height because architecturally I want it to be right. So um, I, I said 30 feet. I'm going to have a conic of 30 feet and that's going to give me um, a, a bottom floor, a second floor, and a, and a small kind of attic space. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice to base a building um, a single family home uh, on the uh, on the basis of a conic. So I laid that out. I uh, put some uh, flooring in. Uh, the measurements here is 11 inches, which is enough space for um, two by 10 joists and um, and the uh, sheetrock and and the flooring that would be on it. And uh, I put in some windows, etc. Uh, in in a sketch. Uh, and then I went ahead and started creating the actual geometry that would be associated with a building uh, that I believe would be um, Gaudian. So uh, here's the building. If I say Control W, I'll get rid of all the all the stuff that you wouldn't want to see like that. And so, you know, there is a building that's uh, based on uh, Gaudi's work. And, you know, I would like to build this building. I'm not exactly sure what I would do with the lumber. I would probably have glue lambs or something like that. Um, but something tells me a building of this nature would be very, very strong because the shape of it <clears throat> would correspond to the way a chain would would uh, naturally uh, fall if you hung it. And therefore, it's probably got the uh, maximum streng strength for the minimum amount of uh, material, and that's something that I'd have to prove uh, with some finite element analysis. Maybe that's that would be the uh, you know the uh, sequel to this little uh, this little video. But uh, Antonio Gaudi uh, is definitely my favorite uh, architect. I don't know what kind of a person he was, um, but I love his vision, um, especially since uh, he did this stuff so long ago. When you didn't have the kind of tools that we have and um, hanging these chains and then flipping them upside down to get the shape of a building is absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and doing these kinds of uh, little videos is quite the pleasure. And uh, check out our uh, YouTube channel with uh, from Design Visionaries and you'll see many more uh, videos about uh, NX, the use of NX and other tools and um, it's all very nerdy, um, but I hope you'll enjoy it and, uh, and see you on the internet. Thank you.